Hello everyone, my name is Wilson and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be talking about Chrome browser on iOS device. This is a complete beginner's tutorial to start using this browser the way it was intended for you to use. This is going to be a very long tutorial, so I'm going to divide this in two parts. In part one, you will have the basic information that you need to start using your Google Chrome application on your iOS device. In part two, we will dive in more details to some other hidden features or features that people don't use that often. Without further ado, let's switch to the phone and I will show you how to use it. Before you do anything else, make sure you have Google Chrome installed on your device. If you don't have, go to your App Store, search for Chrome. I have here at the top Google Chrome, click on it and then you have here the option to update. I have here update because I have already installed Google Chrome, but in your case, you might have here download. And because you don't have, click on download to download the application to your device. Once you have downloaded Google Chrome to your device, the next thing to do is start using it. Now, I have my Google Chrome application right here at the bottom. To open it, you just have to click on the application. So this is Google browser on iOS device. If this is your first time opening Chrome browser, your browser might be like this one here. On this main canvas, you will have nothing. If you look right here at the top, you have on the left side, the incognito mode. And then on the right side, you have your most recent tabs closed. So if you want to go to the left side to access incognito mode, you just have to swipe from the left to the right this way. Then you go to the incognito mode. If you want to go back to the middle, you just have to swipe from the right to the left this way. And then you go back to your main canvas. If you want to access your most recent closed tabs, you just have to swipe from the right to the left this way. You will have here your most recent tabs that was closed. As you can see here on the top, you have recently closed tabs and then you have closed tabs from other devices right here below. On top, where you have most recent closed tabs, those are the tabs that you've closed here on your Apple device. Down here where you have other devices, those tabs closed from your other devices, let's say from your computer or from your iPad, will appear right here. To have access to all of those tabs closed on your other devices, you must sign in here on this device that you are using now with the same email address. The same email address you're going to use here on your Chrome browser must be the same that you're going to use on your Mac device, on your Android device, on your Windows device, or in other iOS device. In all of these devices, you must sign in with the same email address. So this way you will have all the tabs synced across all these devices. Once you have done that, all the websites you access from those devices will appear here on this section. Now, let's go back to the main canvas, which is this one here. Now here, if you want to access a website, the first thing you have to do is click here on this plus sign to open a tab. A tab is just a window where you have all the functions you need to start browsing. To do that, click on this plus sign at the bottom and it will get you to this page here. Right here at the top you have Google, you know, because this is Google. And then right here you have the search bar. Under the search bar you have some most recently used web addresses. Below you have bookmarks, reading lists, recent tab and history. I'm not going to explain each one of these features now, but I'll do that in later video. Now, if you want to search for something, you just have to write here under the search bar, 
what you want to search about to do that click there in this case i'm going to search for cars to finish i'm going to click here at the bottom at this arrow which means enter or under this suggested terms by google click on there to select and start searching there you go guys you have made your first search congratulations now here you can scroll down to see all the results from your search if you find something interesting and you want to read more click on this bold title to go to the website now this is the website that I have to click in so you can scroll down or up to see all the information about the cars on this website now something interesting to notice here is that once you are on the website if you scroll down the way i'm doing here you will notice that here at the bottom the navigation features disappear for example if you want to go back or forward or open a new tab all the features that appear here in the bottom it disappears if you want those features to appear again you just have to swipe up this way you see the features appears again right here at the bottom and right here at the bottom you have this left arrow to show you the option to go back you have this arrow pointing to the right showing you that this is the option to click if you want to go forward then you have this plus sign here this is where you have to click if you want to open a new tab and right here you have the numbers of tab opened on this application and right here you have number one which represents the number of tabs you have open on this application and then you have these three dots that gives you access to more options on this application if you're still watching this video and finding value on it don't forget give a thumbs up because it really helps with the youtube algorithm now if you want to go back click on this arrow pointing to the left and then you will go back to your google search results now here if you want to make a different research and you want to do that in a different tab you just have to click here on this plus sign and it will take you back to this default page here now here you have the option to do your search for example let's say now you want to search about flowers click on search and then write flowers once again you can click on this option to start the search or you can click right here at the bottom to start the search i'm going to click again on the option and it will make the search if you notice right here at the bottom where you have the navigation options you will see that right here i have the number two why because now i have two tabs open on this application if you want to see all the tabs that are open here on this application click on this icon where you have the number two and it will bring all the tabs that are open as you can see i have here two tabs open to close the tab you just have to click on this x to close it in this case you just have closed the tab and not the application right here at the bottom you can see that i have close all this option come in handy when you have a lot of tabs open and you don't want to go one by one clicking on the x to close you just have to come here and click on close all and all tabs will be closed from here if you want to use the incognito mode you just have to swipe from the left to the right this way now we are in the incognito mode there are a lot of advantages of using incognito mode i'm not going to discuss them here but in simple ways i can tell you when to use incognito mode you can use incognito mode when you don't want to save on your device the results of your search for example when you search for cars or flowers 
even though you close your tabs, those search will be saved on your device. If you use incognito mode, those search will not be saved here on your device. That's the simple way to explain incognito mode. Now here, if you want to navigate, the same thing we have done on the main canvas we are going to do here. Right here in the bottom, you have to open the tab. And to open the tab, click on this plus icon. Then from here, what you have to do is click right here at the top. You have search or type URL. Click and then you can type what you want to search. Let's search now for fonts. This time, instead of clicking here on this option phones, I'm going to click here on the enter at the keyboard. I have here the results of my search. Once again, if you swipe up on the browser, you have access here at the bottom to those featured that I've showed you previously. If you want to close this tab, what you have to do is once again come here where you have this one icon, click there. It will bring all the tabs open here under the incognito mode and to close it you just have to click on this x sign or click on close all this way you will close all the tabs that are open here under incognito mode once you've done that you can swipe from the right to the left to go back to your main canvas now let's talk about your recently closed tabs. To get to your most recently closed tabs, you just have to swipe from the right to the left. Now here on this section, you will have access to all your tabs that you have closed, except the tabs that you have opened under the incognito mode. To have access to those tabs, you just have to click here under recent close and click on this arrow. Down here, you have all your recently closed tabs and you can see that we have the tab that we've made the search for about cars and at the bottom you have the flowers tab that we've made search about flowers. And right here at the bottom, you can see all the other tabs that have closed here on this device. And from here, if you want to do a search about car, you just have to click here on cars and it will open a new tab from the one you have closed. There you go everyone. This is how you use your recently closed tab section. If you found a value on this tutorial, give a like to this video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget share this video. Well everyone, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.